Well, we are joined this afternoon by medical director from the Rhode Island Department of Health, Dr. Jim McDonald. He joins us here on Wednesdays on 12 News Now at 4. Dr. M, thanks for being with us. Kim, it's great to be here again. And, you know, what a beautiful autumn day. It reminds me of why, what a privilege it is to live in New England. It's just beauty every day. It is so true, Dr. M. One thing I wanted to ask you about as we head into the fall and into the winter, we're seeing more cases, more hospitalizations, obviously some issues on college campuses. What do you make of the current situation, especially as we head into the colder months? Are, are you getting concerned at all? So we keep track of this every day, of course, and I'm always concerned about everything. Um, but this is case finding. So in, in some ways, we're glad to find the cases. In other words, what we know is better. Part of why we're finding a lot more cases, though, is we're doing a lot more testing. We're now at almost 10,000 tests a day, which is almost unbelievable that we're at that many tests a day. But that's partly why we're finding more cases. And I think one of the key things is when we find cases and we get that case investigation done, they can do the contact tracing and quarantine individuals. That is the treatment right now for the pandemic, uh, not just for the state, but for the planet, because there is no vaccine for this right now. So it's something that I'm actually okay with right now because I'd rather find the cases and know what I'm dealing with than sort of live in ignorance. That's not helpful for anybody. Last week when we spoke, there were more COVID cases amongst distance learners than their peers who were going into schools. It looks like now that has flip-flopped a little bit. When we spoke last week, you said it, it might not stay this way and clearly it has already changed. So is there anything that families should be taking away from this data or is it just a trend that's going to continue to grow and change and evolve? Yeah, I think it's a trend that's going to change over time. What we're still seeing is cases acquired in communities. What we're not seeing yet is in school person to person transmission. Like we haven't seen an outbreak in a school yet and we're looking for it. Uh, so what you're really seeing is cases in the community and they just happen to have different school settings. Obviously part of why we have the big K through 12 program set up is so we can prevent an outbreak in schools. And, and part of why we can do that, I hope, is by getting people tested and resulted the same day, then we can get the symptomatic people out of school as soon as possible. And of course, it does help a lot that the kids in school and the teachers are wearing masks and staying six feet apart. That really helps a lot. The hand sanitizer is really important as well. So these things matter. And, and this is why we'll just have to wait and see how it goes over time. But obviously something we're looking at very closely with the schools. I wanted to ask about the 300,000 new tests that are coming to Rhode Island between now and the end of the year, the Binax Now test. The governor says these are game changing. So what makes them so different? Yeah, Abbott, the same company that made the ID now has made the Binax test. Why that's attractive is it's about the size of a credit card. You don't need a machine. And if you've ever had a rapid stress, test, the rapid flu test or a pregnancy test, it's the same technology. In other words, you put some drops on the card with the swab on the card, you wait 15 minutes, and then you get a result that shows one line if you're negative, two lines if you're positive. Why I think it's game changing is this is where I see the pandemic going in the world of testing. I think what you're going to see over the ensuing months is that us doing all this testing is eventually going to go away and it's going to return to the doctor's office where you've always seen it before. And what you'll see is doctor's offices will have access to this. I don't know exactly when that's going to happen. Though. In other words, we have to wait and see how this rolls out. Like everything else in the pandemic, every good thing seems to take a fair amount of time. Well, Dr. Jim McDonald, medical director from the Rhode Island Department of Health, joins us here on Wednesdays. Doctor, thanks for being with us. Thank you, Kim, and you have a great rest of your day. You too.